Harryhausen's yeah, a clue, really. right back yeah. from day one when I started writing it, it was like, it was always intended. I mean, that was the original idea. It was like, wouldn't it be cool to do a stop motion zombie movie for kids? Because as soon as you've seen, for example, the skeleton fight in Jason and the Argonauts, that from that point on, it's like, that's how the undead should be animated. You can't make a movie like this without referencing the great yeah. Ray Harryhausen. He's done every monster that every kid of our generation remembers, you know. And I love it. It's particularly apt because zombies are dead and they're, they're kind of brought to life, you know. And yeah. so so the puppets are inanimate objects and literally in some spooky way being yeah. brought to life by some dark magic. You yeah, know? we are. We would have been burned for doing this 300 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's the Halloween ringtone and yes, there's the Jason mask and there's mm. lots of stuff like that. But they're kind of... Uh, peripheral they're a little bit of icing on the cake mm -hmm. I think fundamentally this is a true family movie in that it is aimed at pretty much anyone from I don't know five, five. upwards yeah. um, and you know we made a real effort to try and not make it condescending to try and not go above kids heads um, apart from those few little gags. Oh, yeah. But even, you know, they it's funny. They laugh at them, don't they? They the kid, do. The kids still laugh for that Jason mask reveal because yeah. it's just the cutting of it. It's just kind of funny that a boy would show up in a hockey mark. Yeah. Because everyone has been 11 at some point in their lives, everyone can relate yeah. to it. Yeah, and it's a, a great way to make your movie sing, though, is to is to look at the films that you love mm -hmm. and draw from, the, draw from those films. I think it's a great way to shape your film yeah. Sure, yeah i was watching all kinds of things yeah. that i should have been watching when i was nine well, the i mean the judge is very good you know big imposing kind of sh almost shakespearean kind of tragic figure i love love him and there's some other they're all kind of goofs weren't they in mm. some way i yeah. like the big guy whose chin has dropped away and become like a windsock of flesh <laughs> it's fun yeah we had a Flapping zombie around. there was like a zombie school we had with the animators where we were trying to figure out the walks and the the behavior of zombies yeah it looks like a lot of fun i you'd have to ask the animators though i'm not sure how much fun they had <laughs> yeah because it's like seven of them walking down a narrow alleyway that's yeah. not fun to animate i tell you that You invest a lot of time and effort into it. I think the the crew that we had, you know, actually, I, you know, I, I kind of got into stop motion features uh, around about Corpse Bride, and it's interesting because a lot of the people that were starting out then have been moving, you know, through the years, working together on and off on different projects. It's quite a small pool of people. Um, so by this point, you know, we got a great crew together for Coraline, and I think people are at the top of their game. So. You know, when we came in with this challenging script that, that was asking more than had ever been asked of a stop motion movie, everyone was game for the challenge. And I think that's what it comes down to is a phenomenally talented crew. Mm. And the vi we did use visual effects to, yeah. to sort of like expand the world, you know. So there's great, we did use more, probably more green screen than you'd see normally in a stop frame movie. And we had some CG crowd stuff. Yeah. <laughs> 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 